Okay, Marvel Studios Black Panther Wakanda Forever Neymar. Neymar. <laughs> oh no, imagine Neymar in Wakanda Forever. My ancestors would often say only the most broken people can be great leaders. Introducing Namor was really an opportunity to introduce another sovereign ruler of a group of people. He shows up representing Talo Khan. Who the this hell is this guy? For the surface world. In Marvel Publishing, Namor was one of the first superheroes, frankly. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Namor loves his people, and he's going to protect them. Dragon Ball Z? Because to be a ruler, you have to serve the people. Talo Khan has a deep meaning for me. It's part of my personal heritage as a Mexican, as an inhabitant of uh, Mesoamerica. Finally, I could find a more powerful representation of my culture with dignity and respect. I cannot wait for everyone to see Talo Khan. I'm excited about how we're going to see the world come alive. Oh my God, Both this is nations so amazing. want the same thing, which is to preserve and to protect their people. But they're willing to go about it different ways. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. Namor is very much concerned with what he needs and what he wants. This delicate dance between the two of them. I get chills just thinking about it. Who are you? My enemies call me Namor. Namor. So the thing about this movie, what I did not expect happening is what they are going with this is a representation of varieties of ethnicities and cultures that are usually the minority and they don't have a lot or enough attention on big screen. And they're trying to represent that through fantasy as well. But you can still see some theme here and some details and stuff that are actually accurate to reality. So I think it's not a bad idea. I just hope that they don't uh, diverge a lot from the essence of the first movie. And they don't try to put so much into it to make it into uh, something totally different from what we expect. You know, I, I, I do agree, like, this is awesome. This is, it can be a good way to keep going and bringing more and more of Wakanda movies in the future. Um, but if they just pay attention to this new character and his story, and then we have Wakanda forever or whatever is going on with Black Panther in the background, I don't think we would really like that because, like, that shoving it in our face just... Maybe make it subtle and bring it here and there. Make us love it slowly. Don't push it on us. That's my opinion. So I hope we... Because first time seeing this, I'm like, who the hell is... Like, I didn't see these scenes in any of the teasers before. I was like, what? You know, so hopefully um, they know what they're doing. That's my opinion. Welcome.